Hey, welcome back. My name is Joe. I've had the Amazon Echo Dot for quite some time now. And as you may know, you can get her to control the lighting in your house, for example, or you can ask her more personal questions like what she thinks about her competitor, Siri. Siri is better than me. We can also ask her much more serious and pressing questions on our minds. For instance, where's Chuck Norris? If Chuck Norris wants you to know where he is, he'll find you. If he doesn't, you won't know until it's too late. But here's the thing though. I didn't know that you can actually use the Echo Dot as a Bluetooth speaker. Seriously, I've been using it all this time and somehow I didn't know this. I simply uh, assumed it's only for voice assistants and automation tasks, or only work by linking Alexa to other music services like Amazon Music, Apple Music, Deezer, Gimme, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Sirius XM, Spotify Premium, Tidal, TuneIn, and Vivo, just to name a few. To set it up, it's actually quite simple. All you need to do is go to your Bluetooth menu on your device and say, Alexa, Bluetooth pairing. If it's not already on, it will start to search around for your device. Once it shows up on your phone, just select it and wait for it to pair. There's no pass key or anything like that. The Echo Dot will work like any other regular Bluetooth speaker. You can still control her at any point like before. Plus, you can ask her to skip, pause and play, remotely controlling your phone through her. Playing Bluetooth. Now I have to say the audio quality isn't anything to shout about, but here's a quick comparison between the iPhone X and the Echo Dot. The phone has more trouble but lacks bass, the Echo Dot has more thump to it but lacks clarity. Look, it's not going to blow Marty McFly away but I think at a pinch it does improve the audio ever so slightly compared to the phone. Alternatively, you can connect the Echo Dot via 3.5mm jack at the back to a proper hi-fi, adding streaming functionality to your system if it doesn't already support it in the first place. In any case, that's it for today's short tutorial and look at the Echo Dot. If you didn't know about this feature, hopefully you have learned something now. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and for the finale, take it away, Al. Got my mind on a number, lucky number on mine, 3.14159. My day is high day, diameter circumference, infinite irrational without an encumbrance. Going round in circles like a revolving door, feeling transcendental over 3.14. I'll take a slice of that never-ending pie. I'll take a sweet slice of that lucky number pie.